Uh, good morning. This is Dick Rochford, pilot trainer for PA-46 aircraft. Aboard 692 Sierra Tango, a G-1000 equipped Piper Meridian. And I wanted to make this video to demonstrate to the viewer just how comfortable this airplane is. Admittedly, we have all of the things going for us this morning. It's 9 a.m. Mountain Time. We just departed, departed Santa Fe, New Mexico. And we're in the climb to Gillespie Field, San Diego. And it's one of those days where everybody wishes they were pilots. It's just absolutely smooth, calm, and delightful. They've had some snow in the area. The skiers are happy. Cold, brilliant day. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, let's discuss a little bit about setting up for the climb. That's what we're doing now. First order of battle is to uh, set the, uh, the engine up in a way that will allow us to maximize the performance of the aircraft without allowing our CHTs to go beyond reasonable limits. Now we know once we level off and set up for 90% power, a uh, correction, 70% 70, 70 power, uh, we know that that top CHT, the number five, which is usually the hottest, 549, radar service terminated. Contact center face tower, one, 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 will not be over uh, 395 degrees. Typically, I see it at 380. Two Sierra Tango, contact Albuquerque Center, one two four point three two. 2432, two Sierra Tango. So the idea here is just to give it enough fuel that it maintains a temperature close to that which we want to encounter in the, or we know we're going to encounter in the cruise. So we're not overheating the engine. We're not keeping it unrealistically cool. Center green we're allowing that engine to uh, warm to the operating temperature a little sooner. 35 inches, 2500-ish on the RPM, and in this case, 32 gallons per hour. This is Dick Rochford. Charlie 3029. We got the weather and the note. Fly safely. Visual. Train off at 